Hey everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this follow-up video, I'm gonna show you two new patterns that we've added to TrendSpider's automated pattern recognition capability. Now, before I get into it too much here, be sure to watch my previous video about pattern recognition if you haven't already. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, the first thing you gotta know is to enable or disable any chart patterns in TrendSpider, you go to the top toolbar and you click on the three dots next to chart patterns. This will open the chart pattern menu, and here you can select which ones you want displayed on your charts. You'll notice that I have double bottom and double top already checked. There's also the previous patterns we released, the triangles, and there's also channels, which is not available for you guys yet, but is coming next after double tops and bottoms. So since I already have these added, I'm just gonna click out of this, and you can see that each pattern I add is gonna show up in my indicator key on the left side of the chart. They're gonna look like just another indicator. So let's take a look at these one by one and go into them in a little detail. I'm first gonna enable double tops, and you're gonna see that on SPY here, it picks up the double top back last year before the market started getting really, really crazy. Now, for each pattern we pick up, there's gonna be four lines displayed. You're gonna have your zigzag line, which displays the pattern and the pattern's playout path. You're gonna have your support line, which is always at the peak or the valley in between the two points that make up the pattern. And you're gonna have your pattern lines one and two. Now, if you look at the settings here, you can click the three dots. You're gonna see that line one is the uh, first peak, line two is the second peak. It's gonna be the same thing, but in reverse for valleys. And that my pattern lines and support lines are both the same color, they're red. Now, let's take a look at what it looks like with double bottoms. I'm gonna disable this one, I'm gonna enable this one. And you can see it's picking up the most recent double bottom on the pattern. Um, and it's drawing the two valleys, right? It's drawing the support line on the peak in between them. Um, and it's drawing the one and two lines, which are the first and the second valley lines themselves. Now, uh, what's really cool about this is when price has not broken out through the support line, in either of these patterns, in double tops or bottoms, the support line is really important. If price has not broken out of that, the pattern is considered to be in force, meaning it is still forming, it is not confirmed yet. Uh, the double top here got confirmed when price broke through it here in February of this year. Right, but the double bottom is not yet confirmed because price has not broken through the support line on it. So with that information out of the way, I wanna highlight that you can scan for these and you can scan for them while they're in force, when they've broken out, you can scan for them when they're within a range of a double top or bottom or support line or any of the other lines that you see on your chart. So I'm just gonna pull out for, in the interest of time, a scan that I made a little earlier. This one looks for double bottoms with recent earnings. Um, and it looks for the double bottom, the price to be within two and a half percent of the support level, the support line and the double bottom. So when I click scan here, it's gonna download every chart in the S&P 500. It's gonna calculate every double bottom that might exist on them. It's gonna then filter out any of them uh, where the price is not within two and a half percent of the support line or when there wasn't earnings within the last 30 days. So I just wanna highlight that again, um, we're using a technical condition, a chart pattern, a double bottom prices relative position to it, and the non-technical condition in the same scan. And we can just look at the results, right? It's gonna pick them all up and we can look at them and see what was, we're seeing here in the charts. So that's how TrendSpider's uh, automated pattern recognition works on the charts, on the scanner for double tops and double bottoms. Keep your eyes out, we have more patterns on the way. Next up are channels. And also keep in mind, these are not the only two parts of the platform you can use automated chart pattern recognition. You can use it in smart checklists and some other parts as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this interesting. If you haven't tried TrendSpider, it's a great time to start. Thank you and have a good day, bye-bye.